supplements aren't the only piece of the puzzle, obviously, but what types of molecules or amino acids or vitamins or minerals could someone be taking to improve their mitochondria? I always test. So I do what's something called the ion panel. And I look at Q10, I look at magnesium, I do all the B vitamins, I look at vitamin A, vitamin D. Vitamin D, by the way, is absolutely like essential. The vitamin D from the sun has 15 isoforms, which have a metabolic efficiency, whereas the vitamin D3 supplement is one isoform. They've done studies showing that vitamin D supplement has no impact on long-term outcomes of anything. My whole practice has moved into the quantum and the circadian realm. I work in these layers and levels of healing from environment to physical to electromagnetic to emotional to mental to soul to spirit. The physics of healing, which is the third level, exceeds the capacity of the biology and biochemistry. But that doesn't mean to say I don't use them. But first, you've got to establish circadian biology. You've got to really ground. We've lost our connection to natural cycles and rhythms. We've gone indoors. We've got rubber-soled shoes. We've got refrigerators. We've got LED lights. The whole melatonin cortisol cycle is whacked out. We don't repair mitochondria through natural cycles and rhythms. If you don't get that First, I don't, I wouldn't take supplements. 